Right, we're back to another match preview, and it's a pretty big one. Massive game here. It's FC Porto taking on the mighty Glasgow Rangers. The Mora, 5-6 to six kickoff. I prefer it being earlier, so I mean, this is actually pretty decent. See the whole 8 o'clock kickoff, and then by the time it finishes, you wrap up your match for a few, it's time to go to bed. That is pish, but at least the Mora, we won't have that problem. But this is a massive game. Obviously, last time in the Europa League, uh, young boys... Two mistakes for Tav. Uh, you know how that went. 2-1 uh, we get beat. Should have won at 1-0. Should be sitting top of the group. Six points. But now, because due to that... Um, due to Tav's uh, fuck-up... Um, tell you one thing. Feyenoord get beat. Feyenoord beat Poro 2-0. I didn't know that. But due to Tav's fuck-up, we're sitting with three points. Albeit it was a very decent three points against Feyenoord. Uh, the 1-0 win when Che Ojo launched it in. But then... We came up against Hearts there, back for the international break, and sadly, Tav, yet again, another mistake, literally identical, I believe it's the second goal against Young Boys, it's identical to, maybe, maybe not, who knows, who knows, who knows, um, but yeah, so we only drew that game after Alfredo saved us, we played really shit in that game, now I'll admit, I'm not an expert about fucking Porto, but at the end of the day, based off recent history, They've been in the Champions League, giving decent a lot of teams better, better teams than us. Let's be real. Games. Um, this could be a really. This could be one we get spanked, or we actually do pretty well. But if you base you base it off uh, recent form, uh, they've not they've not been too impressive. Porto. Yes, they've won all their games in the league, but like look at the last three. Um. Well, they only beat that Rio team 1-0, Santa Clara 2-0. Not exactly great result, is it? But you can say the same way, Austrian with Hearts. Um, but not that I know these two teams. Like, fuck, man, I'm I'm clutching at straws here. But the last Europa League game, they got beat against Feyenoord. So they have to win this game as well. But the great thing about this group is it's really close because we're all on three points. Feyenoord are on three because they beat Porto. We're on three because we beat uh, Feyenoord. Young boys are on... Free because they beat uh, us, and then Porto are on free because they beat Young Boys first time around. But if you look at it like that, that is the form. Not too much to say about there, but they're definitely got the advantage in the form. But in terms of actual preview, um, team news. Let's see here. Ryan Kent. It'd be great to see Ryan Kent back in the Europa League. Um, hopefully he doesn't. He didn't really do much. He's alright against Hearts, but it was his first game back, so I'm not going to slower him. But this is the first time since 05 6. Since the Champions League group stages, Rangers won 3 2 in Scotland and Drew won each in Port. Well, I'll tell you one thing, we would definitely t we would love a, repli a replication of those two results in the group stages. Um, now, sadly, this time it's in the Europa League, not the, the CL. But um, what can you do? Uh, let's see here. The home side has never lost in four previous meetings in these matches. That's interesting. Um, but I agree with Charlie. He says, Charlie Nicholas, he says that we're going well, uh, scoring a lot of goals, but defensively with Tav, I mean, I've, I've been highlighting that for weeks, ever since the young, even before the young boys game. I've always been a critic of Tav. Great going forward, which is more why he's a right mid, not right back in my opinion. Um, but, yeah, I do believe we're not going to have a lot of ball this game, which he says. But, I mean, we've got all... See, like, I get that, but... See the counter-attacking, like, players that we've got with just pace? I don't see... I get his point, but the degree, he's wrong in a way. But anyway, you know what? I think it'll be a tough game, but I'm going to have to be realistic. I don't think... I think we're obviously losing is realistic. <laughs> Probably the most likely of the three options of us winning the draw and them winning. But I'm going to go with a draw. I'm going to go with a nil-nil draw. I think it'll be just like last season when we drew a cup when we drew nil-nil. And also when we drew nil-nil with Ligia Warsaw. But anyway, I'm going to go with nil-nil. Till next time. Peace.